Last time on Common Sense Soapbox, Bob to the Future! Thanks for introducing me to Mr. Blukaflorp and landing me this gig! Yes! The workday is over! Time to start my own business! And now for today's exciting installment of Common Sense Soapbox, Bob to the Future! Oh, uh, Bob. Why did you ask Steve to pay you in meat from the taco mine? You know we use money here. Yuck! Money just seems so gross. Why can't we all just trade the goods and services we create directly with other people? Then we'd all get everything for free! Okay, so what exactly do you plan to do with all that? I'm gonna go get all the parts I need to start my business! Wouldn't it be easier to... Ugh, never mind. Let's go to the flea market. The flea market? Hey, we had those in my day! Ugh, I think I'm gonna be sick! That's pretty rude, Bob. I thought you said you had flea markets in your time. Run by humans, not fleas! Shh, try to be a little more tolerant, Bob. Oh, oh, look! I could use that! I'll cut you a deal. How's 12 credits sound? Uh, what's the conversion rate between credits and unrefrigerated taco meat? Uh, we take credits here, bud. What am I supposed to do with that? No deal! Money is evil! I'm gonna barter this meat for the stuff I need! Whatever you say, pal. Good luck. Pfft, I don't need luck. Gah! Why is it so hard to find people to trade with? Maybe it's because you're bartering with poorly transported taco meat? There isn't always a coincidence of wants, Bob. A coincidence of what? If you want to buy something someone else has, you need to be able to give them what they want in return. Duh! But finding somebody who has what you want, and who also wants your taco meat is... IMPOSSIBLE! Ah! I'm giving up! But we solved this problem thousands of years ago! We did?! Yes! with the invention of money. Will Bob finally understand the utility of money? Will he ever find anyone to trade with? Find out on the next exciting episode of Common Sense Soapbox. Bob to the future!